So now, as you can see, I'm I'm done with with my eyes. I'm done with that part. Um, I will now show you guys how to put on eyelashes because that's going to be the next part. Um, and then after that, we'll we'll just go from there. Okay, guys. So eyelashes for me are a little bit more difficult. I don't put them on a lot. Uh, I like them. I love them. I would rather go and pay for somebody to put them onto my face so that I can wear them for like a month or two and then when they fall off, they fall off. I'd rather have that. But I know how to do it. I just, I suck. I'm impatient. I, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me. So I'm going to show you. So they look like furry little caterpillars. Look at them go. So now you have your eyelash, and we're actually going to start the hair in it. Okay, I have worn these before. So now you're going to take your glue. Uh, glue is the key. So with these, sometimes they'll come with a little glue. It's just white. It's crap. It doesn't really work. Uh, that's why you pay for different glue. Now they they come in all different all different types. Um, I have a couple different types of glue. This one though is a clear, so it's the Ardell Brush On Lash Adhesive. So it's just it's just a clear glue, uh, which I like a lot because it's not it doesn't it doesn't look weird. It's not that white like weird residue that you would see. This is actually a clear. So it's nice. Um, the other one that I have is a black, which can be really good because then it acts as like a liner. But if you don't want that and you just want to use clear, which I do, I, I just use this one. So we're going to open it. And get some glue on that bad boy. And then we're just going to put it right on to the lash. Okay. Now that you got some glue, get some glue on it. Don't work. With this, now before you use your eyelash, before you put it on your face, you're gonna want to curl it. Like little you. Because you want it to get into the shape that's gonna be on your face. Um, with the glue though, when you put it on, you, you, you let it sit for about 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you can even do this. We're blowing it. Um, it's just to dry it a little bit, and then, and then you put it on. Gonna go ahead, put some lash glue on it. Ooh. Ah, the glue's still a little wet. Got in my eye, and boom. Boom goes the dynamite. We're gonna go ahead and squish it. And squish it. And voila, you have the lashes. Your layer shows up, that's how you do it. So now the next part. So this is actually a pen one. This is the hard candy one, Walmart. Um, but I mean, it works really, it works fine. So this is what it is. We're just gonna go ahead and we are going to line that up. Now for the other eye. So 
as I was putting this on, my eyelash started to lift just a little bit. That, that part wasn't that bad though. It's just a teeny tiny, tiny little piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more glue. Okay, now we gotta let it dry. Hang it, go to fast. It's a coming bird. Now I'm gonna take my tweezers, push this down so I'm not touching it with my freaking hand. Get it stay into place. Oh, of course, eyeball. Yeah, we got water. What are you gonna do with me? <laughs> And that is how you do it. I added a, a second little wing. I don't know why, I just kind of like it. So now the, the majority of your makeup is done. So now you just have to fix yourself a little bit and add the bronzer so that you don't look like a pale, like a ghost. So you want to add that. So now the only thing that I have left to do, got this bad boy. I got my blush, and then I got my bronzer, and then my lips. So, what I'll do, again, take another nice little compacted brush. This is a little kabuki brush that, uh, it's Eco Tools, Walmart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is also something that I bought at Walmart. It's Sun Bronze 20. A natural bronzer. It's a Rimmel product. So, drugstore, normal. I'm just going to go ahead and spread a little bit on my brush. And then I'm going to go in where you would normally put this. You're going to go right underneath your cheekbones. Didn't do that. I told you we were gonna wait till the end. We are gonna put this on now. It's gonna make us look so much better. Now you're just gonna take your little brush and again. You're gonna move on to the blush. This I just bought actually, I ran on my other blush, but this is just CoverGirl. It's like $4, but it's a deep mauve. So, open it. Um, I have this brush, this again, it's just another cheap brush. It's a little, it's a spongy, powdery, whatever. This stuff is very concentrated. Uh, I don't like to use a whole lot, so I just I tap. It gets so much pigment on the brush, even just from tapping. Get a little bit of that off of there. Okay. Now you just want to touch the ball of your cheek with this. And then kind of spread it out. So now this is, uh, this is up to you if you want to. We already have the fake lashes. Technically, you don't have to. If you don't see your underneath lashes, then you're fine. You, you don't have to do this step. But if you do see the underneath lashes, um, then then you do this step. I don't really see mine, but we're, we're going to do a little bit. So this is the one that I use. This is a Mega Plush Volume Express Maybelline. There you have it. So kind of darkened it up just a little bit, but not too much. Be very careful when you're blinking though, because um, you'll transfer it, and then you don't like that. It's no good. It's no good. She don't want it. 
if I can even want it. Next part is this. So this I just got as a freebie. Uh, NARS pencil. I just like to give my color our lips just a little bit. And as I just did the rest of my face, I feel like I'm, I'm cheating on my lips if I don't give them some color. move that bad boy around if you have some dry lips um like i have some dry lips right now you can always put chapstick underneath it and then put that on top of it they work really well together it might be a little bit lighter than this but it's the same thing but there you have it guys that's how you do your makeup so as you can see you know that that was a very long process but that's kind of how i do everything when i do it um that's all I have for you. So keep tuned for more videos. Uh, I am planning to do a couple more. Um, I might actually do one tonight. You might not see it until tomorrow though. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So bye guys. Thanks so much. This is a finished look. Couldn't really get rid of that, but everything else. Bye, guys.